it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. Thanks for joining me for another acrylic pour video. Okay, so I have a 12 by 12 canvas. I have it elevated just by putting a little a couple push pins in the back. I think I'm gonna do a marble, a marble pour, but I'm gonna do it with a golf ball. This is all gross and stained, so pretty sure I can, I'm okay to use it in paint. Let's get a few paints here. So this is just a regular white, um, generic, just, it's from Saks, nothing special about it. It's mixed, the same recipe as everything else. I'm just gonna put it on kind of thick. I like to have my paint pretty thick for this type of pour. It gives me more control over the golf ball moving around. Cover my sides really well. Torch some of these bubbles. There's a video in the description, or a link to a video in the description um, of how I mix my paint, my recipe, and the consistency, and all that's in there. Okay, so let's get a couple colors here. These are all mixed the same, by the way. Now, so I'm going to do some random puddles and then I'm going to roll the, the golf ball through it. Start off with this gold. And I will speed this up after I show you the colors. This is purple by, by Montmartre. This is Thalo Blue by Saks. This is Silver by Deco Art. Cerulean Blue by Artist Loft. Next I'll go with this Deco Art Neon Pink. I have a little clog in my bottle. Sometimes that happens. I just, I just get that out with a, a push pin, thumbtack, whatever you want to call it. This is Pebio iridescent green and yellow. It is such a pretty color. Throw a little metallic white in there, and that is by Artist Loft. And I think I'm gonna use, I'll add a little more gold. This gold is really, really nice. I want some of it to, more of it to show up. Here's a torch, get rid of these bubbles. There's not many, this paint wasn't mixed up today. I'm just gonna put that, uh, put it right there. Definitely need gloves for this because it's gonna go all over my hands. I definitely have too much paint too. Position too much, but I'm just gonna try to move this around a little bit. There's a lot of paint on here. It is way too much. I think I'm gonna have to get some of that off. I 
there wasn't so much paint, I wouldn't have tilted it so much, I don't think. I would have just left the what the what the golf ball did. Look at this. I'm just gonna take this popsicle stick and run it under the edge just to get the extra paint off. And I'm just gonna check my corners, I, just to make sure my corners are covered. There. I'll bring you in for a close-up. Here it is. Let's have a look at these metallics, the shimmering, the iridescence. It's so pretty. So this gold is gonna look completely different once it's dry. It'll be way shinier, vibrant, and more um, metallic-y. You'll see some sh shimmering in it. It kind of gets cloudy with the glue mix. I'll show you that dry in a second. All right, so here it is dry. There's, there's no varnish or anything on this. I just want to show you the gold. See how much different it looks now? And the silver as well. Um, the, some, for some reason, the glue just makes it not look shiny or anything. And then once it dries, it's good. So let me know what you think of this. It's kind of fun, easy technique to do. Um, any beginner could, could learn it. You can have fun with it. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.